Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing the Bursa Thunder 380, which is a small, a very reliable, a very sturdily built uh, handgun that comes at a very economical cost. It's a double action and a single action handgun. It uh, does come with a seven round magazine. Uh, not among the lightest of uh, small handguns, but uh, still fairly light, weighs in at 23 ounces and uh, does take uh, 380 uh, ammunition from 88 to about 115 grains. There's a couple things I want to explain on this gun that make it unique. And the first of those is uh, one of the unique features is the two or three safeties. I'll go ahead and explain two of those. This is a hex key that's uh, right here on the left hand side of the gun that when turned uh, automatically disables the trigger which is a little bit unique. The safety which is featured here go ahead and take that off uh, right up uh, on the left hand side. The magazine release is on the left as well. A little bit different than uh, European handguns which is down on the... Uh, this is a uh, PPK copy and you can tell that just in light of the design. Some unique things on it, uh, it doesn't have any height adjustments on the sights but does have I'll go ahead and feed, show you that now. It does have uh, two white dots here on the back. It is a three dot sight. It does have an adjustment right here on, on this side for windage. Uh, additionally, there is quite a large tang, which you'll see here to protect your hand. It does uh, grip really quite, uh, quite nicely in the hand. That will obviously uh, add to the handling of the gun as well as protecting your hand from the slide during the blowback. The, the gun does uh, or is able to accommodate uh, laser sights and uh, is made in Argentina. It's the largest gun that uh, civilians uh, can have uh, there. It does and is comparable to the Ruger 380. It does weigh uh, a little bit more and does have the tang here, which makes it a little uh, less concealable. Uh, but that being stated, it has much less recoil and uh, handles quite a bit better, in my opinion, than the Ruger 380. In any event, uh, this is a very solid gun, and I'll see if I can give you some uh, some better uh, zoomed up footage uh, of the gun itself, uh, just to give you a sense of uh, some of the, the features on it here. All right, this is about as close as I can get with, uh, with the Bursa. I'll go out now, and uh, we'll take the Bursa, and we'll field test it. I've got the uh, seven round magazine ready. We'll go ahead and uh, get that loaded here. Take the slide release off and we're ready to go. Okay, so as you can tell, light little gun, uh, very, very easy to handle, a uh, very little recoil. Uh, hopefully you could see that from the video. And uh, again, just 27 ounces, a uh, fun little gun that's uh, not only uh, inexpensive but uh, reliable and uh, decent for at least some level of self protection. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unload the seven round clip uh, instantaneously and give you a sense of uh, the semi auto uh, rapid fire feature here. It's ready to go here.